Hi everyone. So today we are doing uh, LibreOffice password protection. So first off, let's open up LibreOffice. I'm going to start off with a blank writer document. So let me make this bigger. First thing we want to do is let me type in some content here. So there's two things, file encryption password and file sharing password. So the file encryption password is people won't be able to open the file without using a password. They won't be able to see it at all. File sharing on the other hand is people can read the file but they can't make any changes to it. Uh, let's get deeper into that. So in this first example I'm gonna do file save or control S for the shortcut key. And then uh, let me rename this to example 1 or ex1 real quick. 1 and then save with the password. I'm going to click that checkbox right there. And then I'm going to press save. And then now I get to type in a password. I'm just going to type in 1234 for simplicity. Once that's done, all I have to do is press OK. Now let me close this file. And then let's open it up. So what's going to happen is it's going to ask me for a password right there. So I'm going to type in 1234, click OK. And we're good. And I can type in a I can make changes to the document no problem. So now, let me show you guys, um, this might come up as a question, so I should probably cover it right now. Um, people can make copies of the document and they can delete it as well. So if you make a copy of it, it's going to carry over the same password settings as the original document. So let me paste, copy and paste. So we have a copy of document example number one. So if I'm going to double click this and open it, it's going to show me a password requirement. So I type in the same password, 1234, and it opens up. Very nice. Now let me close this. Like I said earlier, you can delete these files no problem. I can just drag these to the recycling bin. So they can definitely delete your data if they want or they or you or whoever. So now um, in terms of the file sharing password, let me open up a calc spreadsheet this time. It works for all the LibreOffice um, formats. So let me just type in file sharing password protection. Just typing in some content inside the document real quick. Now all we got to do, same thing, save or control S and then save with password checkbox again. I'm going to change this to EX2 or example 2 on the desktop. Now uh, for f instead of the file encryption, I'm going to do file sharing password. So I'm going to type in 1234, 1234. Um, let me erase this. So we nothing should be on the file encryption password if you're going to do file sharing password. Um, just for this example. You can always do both. So I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to close it out. So let's open up the document. So now, as you can see, I, I'm trying to type something in right now. It won't type. It won't edit the document. Because it is a read-only document, as you can see on top. So I'm going to press Edit. And then what you want to do is go into Edit Mode, or Control-Shift-M. And then you can type in the password, 1234, or whatever you want, and then click OK. And then now the read only part disappeared on the top of the document. Now I can type whatever I want. 
I can pretty much edit the document now. Now I can type. So next up, let's save this. Let's say you want to do both. You can definitely do both. So let's go with the presentations. Let's make this maximize. So I'm going to type in, let's do both. So all you got to do is pretty much the same thing. File. Control S for save. And then we want to do, re, you can rename the file example three, save with password, of course. Now once I click save, I can do both file encryption and um, file sharing. So I'm going to go with the file sharing first, four, three, two, one, and then I'm going to do with file encryption next. So both layers, um, it really depends on what you want to do. Okay, saved, perfect. Let's close it out. Now let's open it up. So now it's gonna ask for two sets of passwords. First one, right here. Click OK. Now once I'm able to see the file, all I have to do now is edit it, which I can't. I'd have to go into edit mode again. So edit, edit mode, and then I have to enter the second set of password. Second password. All right. And then now I can edit it. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully this video wasn't too confusing. Take it easy.